Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anish Patel from AndroidRoots.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at AOCP ROM for the Galaxy S4. And this ROM is going to be working for the GTN 505, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Canadian variants. Link is down below where you can go and download this. Um, but you get this nice red theme ROM right here with customization features, of course. Um, so let me go ahead and turn on the lock screen again. So you get this nice red effect, as you can see on the bottom of my finger right there. Red wallpaper. And once we go and unlock it, you get a nice red paper too. AOCP ROM right there. Um, you also get nice more wallpapers from AOCP as well. So we'll go ahead and tap, tap on wallpapers right here, scroll all the way to the end and then tap on AOCP wallpapers and you can see you got a lot more wallpapers right here, a lot more goodies. Um, so you get a ton of these, a lot, big variety. Some are blue, some are orange and black, red and black, or just some are just random colors too. So you have a lot of these. Um, you're definitely going to be finding one that you like. Um, I'm a fan of abstract um, wallpapers, so I kind of like these, um, some of these at least. Um, so there you guys go, choose whichever one you really want to choose, and yeah, apply it guys. Um, really, really nice, we can go and set this one and see how that one looks. Alright, so that's how it looks, so not bad, not bad at all. Um, let's go ahead and now go to quick settings right here. As you can see, it is a little bit themed up as well. If we go and tap, uh, tap and hold on settings, as you can see, you get this AOC, AO, AOCP. <laughs> That's going to get some used to saying it. AOCP and then the collective at the bottom. If you go and tap on settings, you get this nice red effect theme throughout the whole settings. So if you go and scroll down, you get this nice red effect. Red glow at the top too and bottom, of course. Uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth both are red once they do turn on. As you can see right there, so that's really really nice too. Um, so I really like that. Also, you get another theme on top of this red one. Um, also, if you tap on settings, I believe or options, you get red too. Um, but if you go ahead and tap on themes right here, you have a, another one here. So AOCP icon pack too. So it looks like it's gold. Um, I tried applying it, but I did not see any effect. So let me actually go ahead and show you the icons that are actually actually red too. Uh, so you got browser, clock is red, a couple of these um, red ones messaging uh, people, phone too. Not everything, not all the icons are themed up to be red. Calculator 2 is red, but you get some of these, which isn't bad. If you just want to put those certain applications on the home screen, you can, you know, to make it look a nice red theme. Uh, but whatever. Now let's go ahead and go back into the settings and apply that other theme and see if it actually went ahead and applied it. Um, it does say icon pack, so it should just change the icons, or at least change the icons, if anything. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. As you can see, the icons didn't really change, but if you go ahead and take a look at settings, that did change right there, so the gold. Um, that's all I can really see in change of anything, so that's all there is. Um, I don't know if you may need to do a reboot to get the full effect. Um, actually, let me go and try that and see if it did make any changes. So actually you did need to reboot as you can see if you go and take a look at the, these Google apps, they are themed up now. Um, so reboot was required to get fully effect. Um, as you can see a lot more of these icons are gold. They really don't match with the red but um, you do get more themed icons right there. We'll just leave it there. If you want to go and change it you can, whatever your choice. Um, I'd probably just change it back in my opinion. Um, I'm not a fan of that color anyway. Um, but also that. Also let's go ahead and see if there is any... Um, red keyboard i haven't tried that out so let's see if it works uh if we'll type in a password let's see if a theme comes up uh no so it's a regular keyboard so that's not a big deal but uh, i thought there was i guess not uh, right there too so those uh, that's the nice theme of it uh you also have lock screen options so you can add slider shortcuts clock widget maximize the widgets for full screen and widget paper uh, so you have multiple widgets to be added and selected right there so that's really nice um, also, you have personalized, so you have a bunch of these options. I'm not going to go in-depth in it just because of obvious reasons. You guys probably know what these functions are. Uh, so the Halo Head, App Bar, Custom Carrier Label, we can go and mess with this. Uh, so we can do um, TF9 for my uh, YouTube name, <laughs> which was a bad choice, I got to say. Um, so now it should show, yep, TF9 right there. Uh, if we go ahead and show you that, uh, if it does focus, yep, TF9 right there. Uh, real nice. Um, active, active display, so the same thing as the Moto X. Um, you can go ahead and enable this. And it shouldn't waste any more battery um, than, the Mo than the Moto X would, just because it's an AMOLED uh, display. The only screen part will light up where it's actually being shown text or anything like that. So it's not an LCD display, it's actually LED, um, OL AMOLED LED display. So you'll be fine with that. Um, so you can just enable this, mess around with the settings, try it out, see if you see any battery difference. If you do, you can disable it or go ahead and, you know, choose whatever choice or route you want to go on to. 
Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm not going to go into everything just because, um, you know, obvious reasons. And you also have buttons, too. I'll just mention this real quickly. Um, so you can just change the functions of these hardware buttons at the bottom of the screen, too. Or bottom of the phone right there, too. Um, so that's it, guys. That is it. AOCP ROM for the Galaxy S4, GT, i9, 505, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Canadian variants. If you guys want to go ahead and download this ROM, link is down below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my other social networks. Links are down below as well. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner right there. Really do appreciate all the support you guys do give me. And I'll be catching you guys very soon.